say hi. Hi there. I'm hey, Moose. There's Nadia. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. So, that inauguration. Huh? What? Bro, why did they? I'm confused as to why people keep asking JLo to perform at shit. I'm I don't so know. Kidding. I don't know why there's no there's no talent there. I mean, she can she's like she's the pretty girl at high school who can kind of sing and everybody's like, "Oh, yeah, 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 yeah." But but she's really not that good of a singer. Like right? she's not bad, but she's not, you know, there's nothing super spectacular. You know, like she had to follow Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is a classically trained opera singer. She's weird as shit, but she's talented. That's funny. I was just thinking that the other day like JLo had to follow Gaga. I know my mom texts me and she goes, why did they do that to JLo? <laughs> and then why, why did she during the middle of this land is your land go, let's get loud. This land was made for you and me. I was like, it, it, it fit, it fit nowhere in the song. So it just kind of comes across as like some sort of, don't forget about that single of mine that you can download at iTunes. Wink. And it was so tacky and then i thought you know what they probably well one they had to approve it or you know or worse they suggested it <laughs> i don't know i get the feeling like the biden crew was like hey you do you whatever you want to do just like yeah. no f words or uh talk about you know killing dogs we're good you know yeah and then did you, garth brooks what a national treasure <laughs> He was so cute after he got done singing and then like went up to like hug the Obamas and hug the Clintons and he was just hugging everybody because he's Garth Brooks and of course he was. <laughs> it's so precious. I mean, kudos to him because I believe he's a Republican and he's still able to play at a Democratic president's inauguration. That's uh shows some character there, I guess. Well, and he sang without a mic. He sang, or he sang without like a lob in his ear. Like he went live. Just no, I mean, I said, okay, Garth, you better go ahead. Yeah, it's probably no big deal for him. He's played much bigger venues, I would imagine. The uh, and then the Bernie meme just destroying the internet. I love how Bernie's sitting there and he's like wearing his grandma's knit gloves that he got when he was three years old in eighteen diggity two. Yeah, one of my favorite memes was, you know, Bernie getting ready to go to the inauguration. And he was like, you know what, let me just let me get, just go to Joe's thing real quick and not get super dressed up. Like Bernie had other shit to do. Yeah. He had to go to the grocery store. He had to stop and get his, you know, his medication. He just he was a busy man on inauguration day. I have to pick up some prints at Kinko's first the inauguration. I love uh, him. He's such a treasure. All right, let's move on to the business at hand. Joseph asks, how many political leaders have you met over the years? What was that like? Nadia, saw you met Biden. Cool. Why don't you start with your Biden stuff? I met Joseph, the now president of these United States. I think I met him six or seven years ago. He came to Drake. So it was before Trump was elected. So Obama was still president. Um, so, you know, during Obama's second term and he came to Drake and I remember they... <laughs> They were like, hey, we need some brown people in the front of the <laughs> dead ass. They were like, hey, we need some, you know, well-involved um, brown people in the front of, you know, the seats, front row. Nadia, can we give you a front row seat to go see Biden? And I was like, I guess I wasn't going to go originally because the area where he was just gets packed so quickly. And I was just like not trying to have it. And I was like, sure, whatever, fine. So, you know, he does his talk and everything and he gets done and he's, you know, Secret Service is like escorting him out of the auditorium. And I go to take a selfie like with the back of his head. And the next thing I know is there's there's an arm like there's a hand on my shoulder. And I was like, fuck, Secret Service is going to take me down because I a picture of Biden's head. And it was Joe Biden. Oh, cool. And he was like, hey, I saw you trying to take a picture. Like, let's just take a selfie because it's Joe and he's trying to be hip. And I was like, okay, cool. And Secret Service the whole time was like, God damn it, Joe. <laughs> Stop trying to take selfies with these kids. I was, so, uh, I would say, yeah, we can do that, Joe, but you need to put those aviator sunglasses on. Because mm. like the picture, the selfie with Joe Biden, thumbs up. The selfie with Joe Biden while he's wearing the aviators, that's like, salute rocket ship to the moon achievement yeah so it was, cool. yeah it was a quick thing and then i remember someone was like oh my god Nadia, you don't want me to take that picture give me your phone quick 
so yeah one of my friends took the picture and now he's the president <laughs> Uh, I, I've met a couple politicians, interviewed a couple. Uh, Ron Paul, who wanted to be president back in 2008, I think it was. Yeah, not Rand. Ron, are you okay? Ron Paul? <laughs> you, you remember him, right? He's very much, a, uh, at the time anyway, like a big, no taxes, taxes bad. And the yes. memorable thing for that interview is I, I asked him, and this is on air, do you, all right, let's say there's a bag of kittens and they're going to be thrown in the river to drown or taxes are abolished. What do you, which one do you choose? Like save the kittens or get rid of taxes? And he literally was like, uh, I think he said, let the kittens drown, but Terrible. Yeah, that, that was interesting. Mets also met Chris Dodd. He used to be a senator from, uh, I don't know, he dated uh, uh, Jane Fonda back in the day. Oh, nice. He was, uh, he was interesting. I was, I was a terrible Drake kid because come the 2016 election, they had like a bunch of debates and everything at Drake. And I was like, bitch, I'm just trying to graduate. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to like stand in line for these events. I'm really not trying to do it. Uh, so I guess I'll just catch y'all later, I guess. Like it was very casual during the 2016 election to just see like some politician just like walking around at Drake and you're like, I don't know who you are, but you're in a pantsuit. So I would imagine that you're probably trying to do something important. That's that's back when politics was kind of boring and nobody yeah. nobody really cared. But uh, shall we move on? Sure. Adam Bauer socks. Basically, he says, uh, when are you going to have me on? I'd never gotten the call. Why? LOL. Uh, I reached out to B socks today about next week. So mm -hmm. maybe B socks will be on next week. I haven't heard back. I texted him probably three hours ago. Well, the, the big thing was because before we wanted, before we started having guests, Moose just kind of wanted like a bigger following on the page because like, why waste somebody's time to have them on when you've got, like, 10 people who like your Facebook page, you know? Like, wait till we get a bigger following, and then we can have all the homies on. Yeah, but, you know, if he wants to come on, that's fine. Um, I think people know who he is and our relationships. So, yeah, we'll, we'll try and have him on next week. Yeah. Stand by. Stay tuned. We'll put it on the Facebook uh, page when we know for sure. Justin says, what do you guys like to do for fun? I like to throw a bag of kittens in the river. Stop. I just, I love murder. I don't know what it is. I just love to murder. That's not murder. That's animal cruelty. That's a subsection of murder. You weirdo. <sighs> what do I like to do for fun? I like to play guitar. I like to play video games. Um, yeah, I, I, woodworking. I like doing woodworking in the shed. You're Ron Swanson. You're in a Ron Swanson. Moose yeah. is a really good guitar player. I don't know if people have heard you play because there were a couple times when you did stuff on the show, um, like when we were making our quarantine song with Bon Jovi. Oh, if I can, if I can find the tablature and practice it a little bit, I can do okay. What's uh, what's your fun stuff? I've been reading a lot. I've been reading a lot more. I just picked up three books from the library. Kelly, what'd you get? I got this one called The Glass Castle. This other one called That's a the novel, other. right? Yeah, the Glass Castle. So I read this book called Educated by this girl named Tara Westover, and she was raised like in the mountains of Idaho. Her family was were like survivalist Mormons, and they thought like that doctors and like kind of common medicine were like trying to kill you. And she never went to school, and then she ended up like going to Harvard and getting her doctorate. And yeah, it was nuts. So I've been reading a lot of kind of those memoirs lately. And Lucy, this dog who's sleeping right behind me, this dumb bitch <laughs> took one of my books from the library and started shredding it. Oh shit. So now I have to try and put it back together because apparently I left it in the room with her and Lucy likes to kill books, I guess. Uh-oh. Whoopsies. She's an ass. Anyway, so I, yeah, I've been reading. I've been playing a uh, guitar a little bit more and I guess writing, eh, that's really it. 
what uh, Glass Castle, I don't want to get too far into it. Isn't that kind of like a dark, like tra- trauma situation? I-, I think it's kind of similar to Educated, where like they didn't have a whole lot of socialization or they, you know, I haven't read a whole lot about it, but someone said if I liked Educated, which was the book I just finished, to read that one because it's kind of similar. So I was like, okay, cool. Moving on. Chris Beck. Uh, he's asked questions before, former program, uh, promotions director at uh, the former place. <laughs> Does uh, Sega or Nintendo, which was better? I'm going to say Nintendo. I mean, Super Mario Brothers. I remember playing a ton of uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Uh, there's this one baseball game that I used to love. Like, I just, I would increase the levels of all the players. And like, literally every time they were at bat, they hit a home run, all of them. But oh, nice. I think Nintendo. I never played a whole lot of Sega. I think it was my generation was mostly Nintendo. And I had a Nintendo 64. That was baller. Yeah. And I would play Pokemon. There was some Pokemon video game that we played all the time. So, yeah, I was kind of a Nintendo Nintendo gal myself. So two for Nintendo. Yes. High five. Other way, <clears throat> other way, other way, other side. One, two, three. Shh, shh. No, the side. You got to go the side. Oh. Shh, shh. Okay. Okay. We'll never do that again. <laughs> well, in my video, like it's oh. vertical. So like you're up here and I'm down here. Mine's not side by side. Do side by side so we can do that shit. Oh, okay. Well, I can't, I don't know how to do it. Go up to view and click on gallery. Uh, okay. I am on gallery. Maybe speaker. Nope. That's just you. This is where your computer blows up. View gallery. Okay. Now. Okay. Now. Okay. Now I'm ready. Ready? One, two. Other way. Other side. (laughs) One, two, three. Other side. Other side. No, no, no. Other side. Yeah. You're out. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Done. We're done with this. Because now you're on the left and I'm on the right. (laughs) Anyway. This is why why we work in audio and not video. Correct. There's do Thor. You, do you ever, and I feel like you do because you have kids, there are just some days where they're just on one. Like Lucy has just been barking nonstop. And I've said many times to her today, like, can you just fuck off for like <laughs> five seconds and just like, shh. Just uh, yeah, that's else. That's funny you bring that up. I had that uh, today. Oh, uh, now she's here like, hey, are you guys talking about me? Yeah, yeah. I heard my name. What's going on? God. The uh, Yeah, the big one driving me nuts today and the little one we had to we're trying to take away she has this little chew thing but she does the i told you she does the rubbing and so mm-hmm. like he will get red and so we, we took away the chew thing and all day she's like chewy chewy I'm like it's broken you can't have it so she's like <laughs> on me like give me that do this so yeah it's one of those days for me too but with kids not dogs yeah, Lucy's been like trying to jump up and like pawing at me and whining. I'm like, bitch, shut up. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right, for fact's sake, uh, until next week, I'm Moose. Thanks for listening, watching, whatever. And thanks to you, Ray Ray. Goddamn it, Rodney. <laughs>